There's wait, more. No, there's no, well, there's more. They're, they're different. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. This there you go. Okay. You, re you can read that. Yeah. One. All right. Man, 21 is arrested for coughing in a Chicago cop's face, uh, faces, <laughs> and claiming he had coronavirus after he got into the car crash. What? Where in your right mind do you think that you're not? They're not going to arrest you or shoot you? <laughs> like Taser I have coronavirus <clears throat> right in his face. Like, what do you think they're going to? They're going to throw you down, man. He was driving on the wrong side of the road. Okay. Look at his face. <laughs> that explains everything. Well, he probably got tased. Well, he should yeah. have. <laughs> He's like, I can't believe I did that. His I'm last, such an idiot. <laughs> his last name is Ponzi. Oh, my. Oof. Hmm. What Related to the late Charles Ponzi? Well, it wasn't a very good scheme. No, they say he was, he was driving <laughs> no. his... That was bad. That was he was bad. driving his gray, gray Jeep the wrong way on Wolcott Avenue and collided into another car. Whoa. Well, that's then what happened. exited the vehicle and allegedly attacked the other driver. <laughs> Are you serious? What is, dude, you know what, man? What is going on? That's the end of the world. Was he high Maybe or he did have coronavirus yeah, and it's a on? new strain that's causing people to be a little more zombie-like. Oh, and it's remember, that, remember that guy in China who bit the... the yeah, yeah, that's what I'm oh, talking yeah, about. Huh. See, we ignored that. Yeah, we're is like, that oh, maybe, oh, it's maybe it's a new strain. Coronavirus, COVID-20. There's more. Yeah. It was oh, COVID-19. Now it's yeah. COVID-20. It's there's, upgrading. There's one more. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing, but I really don't want to believe it. <laughs> no. Who wants to read <laughs> So this one? one's, this one's the, oh the, the least bad of all of them. Mm -hmm. New Jersey woman charged with falsely telling police she had the coronavirus. Hmm. Hmm. In New Jersey. Okay. Oh, New Jersey. Yay. 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 We New do Jersey, Jersey well. Yay. Oh, man. All right. So, New, New Jersey woman was charged with falsely telling police she had coronavirus and attempting to pass it to officers, police t uh, said Tuesday. Uh, this woman, 28, purposefully coughed and breathed on police as they processed her arrest <sighs> on March 12th. Wait. So, what was she arrested for? Something different? Uh, she was driving while intoxicated. Oh, okay. Just like the DUI. other guy. Yeah, yeah what hey, the heck? There you Police go. arrested her after she was involved in a one-car crash while allegedly driving intoxicated. Hmm. Hanover Township uh, Police Captain Dave White told The Hill in a statement. White said that Piazza became belligerent while being questioned by the officers on the scene and started breathing on one officer, <laughs> even though he ordered her to stop. I order you to stop, stop. breathing on me. Yeah, stop cool. breathing on me, man. Stop breathing on me. That is pretty gross. Don't breathe on me. Breathe At the station, me. she continued... Before reportedly saying, oh, by the way, I have the coronavirus, <laughs> and so now you do, too. Mm. Wow, that's gross. Like, what do you think they're going to do? What, what, I think the what's world the is point a, of that? Why, why would you ever antagonize there, a cop? There, there is a bit of... I never of, have uh, understood this. How do you yeah. say it properly? Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude? Taking, Schadenfreude. Taking joy in someone else's downfall? I know, but... It's literally no, 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 her not, own downfall. No, 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 not this one. I got one more. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, okay. Oh, there, boy. Are you serious? There's more? Well, this one's I mean, a little I'm different. not really surprised. After but... seeing after seeing all these stories <sighs> of kids licking toilets and stuff like that, you know, like I was saying, the, the guy's trying to be a loser on purpose. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. toilet girl was just a loser in general. <laughs> yeah. It's it really none of them got the coronavirus. <clears throat> we presume. Yeah. Right. But what if a bunch of morons went out and partied when they said, "Hey, there's an outbreak of this, you know, what dangerous if? disease." And then they got sick. Oh, what if? Well, apparently that happened. Oh, my. Florida college students test positive for coronavirus after going on spring break. Our college students. Dude. Why would you go on spring break? These they were, were the told people. not to do it. These are the people we that were doing drinking beer out of each other's butt cracks. Yeah, okay. I don't feel bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. I. I got nothing. Yeah, nope. I, feel, and I, I, I don't feel bad for them. Yeah. I feel bad for the hospitals. Yeah, seriously. Because guess what? Or their families. Yeah, because mm -hmm. their families, you know, who knows, dude? They're gonna get everyone else sick. It's like that dude, that Gobert dude. Remember that guy? Yeah. Goodness. And he was like, "I'm gonna touch everything." Touch all the mics. Yeah. What is wrong? Swirl the hand on the table dude. and be like, "Yeah, I'm good." Ha <laughs> ha. Y'all think it's funny, but it's not. Now I have coronavirus. <laughs> maybe, maybe we deserve the locusts. Well, <laughs> those... well they're not here I don't. yet. <laughs> they're not here yet. I'm but staying they might home. Be. That's right. Oh, my goodness. I've been staying home like a good, good, good boy. Citizen. A good. Well, citizen. I was gonna say a good citizen, but sure, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> these kids went out and partied. Here's the worst part of it. We, I was reading an article earlier from uh, Vox. They interviewed a guy from Moody's, okay. Moody's Analytics. And they, they were the ones who, did, they have this historically accurate presidential prediction model based mm -hmm. on the economy. And they said, we are facing something that's akin or worse to the Great Depression. Something like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. But, but when you look at the amount of unemployment claims, it's a really fascinating story because basically what the guy says is, when it came to the Great Depression... People wanted to work. They were willing to work. Some were working. Many were able. But there was a credit problem. Mm. The flow of currency to make the system work was busted. And so then people started panicking 
They didn't want to buy stuff. They started saving. So they needed a stimulus to get people to feel like they could spend again, have confidence, and to get the machine start churning. So they thought the government could step in, make these purchases confidently, because they had nothing to worry about. They could tax us and take whatever money and print whatever money, right? And now get the machine going. So what the article said was that they didn't do enough. They didn't put enough into the stimulus. So it was a slow grind. And they said there was bickering between the parties. The sure. problem the problem right now, no, no it, one can work. Nobody wants to. Well, no, no, the no. younger generation. Oh, we no, 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 no. We talked about it, though. No, 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 we no, no, no. About it. The laziness. In the economy right now, uh-huh. unemployment is was, was wiped clean. It was like, it was like the lowest in 65 years. Yeah, yeah. Before yeah. this happened. Right, yeah. And so what happens right now, uh-huh. we have the, the biggest workforce ready and willing and completely unable to work. True. That's why yeah. right. that's why this is so mind numbing. If we don't get the economy back going again, uh, go, going again soon, mm-hmm. it will be bedlam. Like you won't even realize these businesses will the businesses won't exist anymore. Yeah. And you'll have a whole all of Manhattan will be empty storefronts. Yeah. Because in, in two or three months, these people have walked away and then all the spoods, all the food is spoiled. There's nothing left. The refrigerator's yeah. got to be like it's what? Spoods. Spoods. Spoods <laughs> foiled. Yes. So all the food spoiled. <laughs> you walk back into these bodegas and what's there? You might have some product that can last, but a couple months, that's a lot of food's gone. Yeah. They're going to clean it out. All the machines got to be cleaned. Employees are gone. Some people might move on. To what? You got to go home. Dude, if you live in Manhattan, you don't have a job for two months. Yeah. You move back home. Oh, that's man. true. Are yeah, you going to come back to New York? Some people won't. Probably not. Now those companies might say, like, I need an employee and they can't find anybody. So mm-hmm. it, it literally just ends after a certain point. We can only stand still for so long. So because of these people, morons, who are going around, you know, pouring beer on the butt cracks of other people and drinking it and yeah. licking toilet seats, this is extending the, the, the lockdown. Yeah. Yep. Well, they're taking that. up ventilators too. Yeah. Dude, that makes Dude, me Dude, look, bad. man, if you want to, I, I, I got a deal. Here's my bargain, all right? If you want to drink beer out of the butt crack of another person. Someone called it a butt chug. I thought a, butt, was, a butt chug? I, I thought that was hilarious. Man, you want, if, look, 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 look. Great comment, you. by the way. You do you, but Do your on. thing, man. Come hey, on. hey, hey, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, butt chug. Yeah, that's All fine. day and night. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll buy you the beer. But <laughs> but that means if you have if you get the coronavirus, you can't go you can't get a ventilator. Sure. You yeah, hey, you fair. wanted the butt chug. All right. Nobody made you do it. Pros and no, cons, but of man. course we have to give yeah, them a you ventilator. You can't leave someone to die. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what's so frustrating. <clears throat> it's like the it's like the healthcare thing with fat people. Yeah. Mm. It's like, dude, I would love universal health care. Yeah. But, but n- these other people are completely overweight. Yeah. And then, like, you know, man. And not, you, oh, no, and no, no. not trying to st- get healthier. No, I'm going to stop right there. Oh, you're going to stop? I'm going to stop. Sure. I will, I will, at this point, gladly accept paying for universal health care taxes for all the fat people. You know why? Why? But I will I will not pay for the butt chuggers. The butt chuggers. The butt chuggers are the line for me. <laughs> the line in the sand, The line. Huh? We're Americans, all right? We got cheap food. We eat too much. That's true. And you know what? I'm willing to accept the obese people in the hospitals, but yeah. not the butt chuggers. Oh, all right. man. You're right. Coronavirus has changed things. <laughs> Dude, there's there's a video from CBS where these spring breakers mm-hmm. they they purposefully go to the beach and they're being filmed laughing. Oh, dude, one one guy's like, "I've been waiting too long for this to let a corona, you know, take away my Miami." And I'm like, "Bro, do you have any idea what's going on? A corona? Do you think we're talking about the beer?" Yeah, I bet they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Are you concerned about the corona? The beer? What? That I'm, seems like uh, Can I pour it on someone's butt and drink it? <sighs> <laughs> there was a there was a woman in in, in uh, uh, a woman at St. Patrick's first Day in you, Chicago. First, you line it, line the edges, the crack with a, a lime. Well, it was like a uh, it was like a human centipede oh thing. Gosh. Put a little salt on the top. No, no, no it was like a, no, 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 look, look, look. It was like human centipede. Gross. They oh, all dude. they all lined up behind each other's butts, bent over, and poured the drink down the cracks. And I, I'm for it's for real. It's what they did. I mean, I believe you. I just there was a uh, there was a. And I think it was like the girls had no problem butt checking off girls, but the guys all wanted to butt check off the girls. Yeah, yeah. duh. Well, so duh, yeah. Uh, there was a one woman in St. And it was a St. Patrick's Day thing in Chicago. And she was like, I'm in, she, she was being interviewed by local news and she got her arms around two guys or something like that. And she's like, I'm immunocompromised, but I take supplements. So it's okay. It's like, oh man. All right, you deserve wow. what's coming. Do we got to give her, do we got to give these people ventilators? Cause I don't know, man. I might actually prefer the 85 year old, you know, greatest generation Dude, those veteran. people are chill. You get, I love them. Mr. You got two months left to live. We're giving you the ventilator. She's got 80. Mm, come Ooh, on. She is not great. I'm kidding, by the way. These uh, uh, This toilet girl apparently said, I hate old people. That's why I did it. Mm. There was some Twitch streamer 
and she said, I, I hate poor people or something. And she got banned from Twitch for gosh. saying that. Yeah. Wow, that's a little hard. So like, I'll be, I'll be, you know, I don't, I don't know. People take stuff out of context, but I mean, in all seriousness, you know, if somebody gets sick, they go to the hospital. <laughs> We're not going to leave anyone. But it's just frustrating that we are all, all now going to suffer because there are really dumb people who do these things and don't take this stuff seriously. Yeah. Yeah, we got an 8 p.m. curfew for Pete's sake. We're lucky right now. But uh, a couple people in New Jersey already got arrested for having people over. Mm -hmm. They had a couple dozen people at a get together. Oh, yeah, that's right. In their backyard. And the neighbors called the cops and the mm -hmm. cops arrested them for a public nuisance. Most, uh, a bunch of neighbors called the cops. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah tons of people. Like, yeah, yeah, and there were, there were other, there was other stuff too, where apparently some people tried calling uh, the cops on a Jewish wedding ceremony because they were doing it in their backyard or something. Okay. And that one was more complicated because they were like, it's a religious ceremony. The cops apparently came and broke it up or something. I don't know exactly what happened, mm. but, uh, that's rough. Yeah. But we're, we're, no, but right we're getting, now. we're getting to that point where people are, start, people are getting arrested. Yeah. And, and so what the governor of New Jersey said is it's strongly recommended curfew. We could go outside right now. No one cares. Yeah. Like I went and danced in the street for fun. <laughs> Nobody cares. Well, of course it's not did. like there's anyone around here that would right. see you. That's true. It's free. Well, and people are going to the yeah. store like normal. They're walking their dogs. I see people jogging. Well, that's, it's, that's in the rules. Like, okay, hard quarantine unless you go outside and exercise or right. walk your animal or go to the store for food mm -hmm. or Essential go to the doctor stuff. or there's a few other things on the list. <laughs> and it's like, okay, did so you, go about your day normally you know but don't go out and have like you can't a go beer. to the tattoo parlor the piercing shop yeah don't nails. don't go did you hear gamestop claimed they were essential <laughs> yeah yeah well but they're during, closing down now <laughs> during well, the good. Uh, uh, end of the world i would think so they actually games, told man. their employees to ignore the police say if the police come show them this letter and it was a letter from corporate saying whoa we told everyone to stay open call our corporate office if oh, you have an issue of all the places game like, style like game what do they style? even have no they don't even have stuff like that yeah people download yeah that stuff is games. so cool you know, we, like, no 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 but or buy their game systems online if they you know most people want to save money and that's where you get it the cheapest now why I, I go to gamestop and i walk around look at stuff and i say oh i'll download that later and i leave yeah mm -hmm. they're not essential to anybody's life yeah my disc on my first playstation 4 stopped working so i just started downloading everything Dude. anyway and it just makes things so much easier GameStop could have no door and it could literally just be a glass single pane <laughs> and you'd look through and be like, okay. And you go back and you order any dolls or gadgets on Amazon. Yeah. You download your games. You don't, it's, 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 it's only a matter of time before they go out of business. Yeah. But anyway, uh, back to the morons who are, you Yay. know, butt chugging and stuff. <sighs> yeah. God, anything with this. Well, Trump's basically saying now that, uh, we might lift quarantine early. Really? really? Yeah. He said at first at 15 days. And we would reassess because mm -hmm. he's eager to get things moving again. Yeah, yeah. And some, there's been some people who have had the idea that maybe we should just uh, quarantine. We should isolate people who are vulnerable and let young people and people who have already recovered get back to work. Okay. Maybe. Because the young people can handle it, I guess. Is that what they're saying? Right. Because the young people who get sick tend to be okay. And right. then they'll they be the ones primarily in the hospital. They don't necessarily need ventilators or what? Yeah, they're they less do. Well, they they're do. less likely to, right? No. I would think. No, no? they're more likely to be hospitalized. Oh. And they're, they they respond better to ventilation. Oh, that's right. Hmm. So they're more likely to survive. Ah, uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah. that's the that's the deal. I guess the the issue is that if the economy doesn't kick back on, then the then breaking down the economy is worse than the actual disease because people are going to die anyway. Yeah. yeah. Without right. food, without water, yeah. Yeah. the hospitals are already strained for strained for cash and resources. Okay. Yeah. So we're on the verge of um, what did Luke call it? He called it a uh, uh, communism free trial. A 30-day uh, free trial yeah. to communism. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, the problem is that once you accept that free trial, it's impossible to cancel. Yeah. And right. that's exactly how it works. Yeah. So this is scary because right now, what the government's going to have to bail out hospitals. They're going to have to come in. That is a mess. There's already been conversations that if the government provides a stimulus to these big corporations, mm -hmm. that they're buying stock in the corporations. Yeah. And then the government is going to have a finger in a lot of these big companies and we're yeah. getting dangerously mm -hmm. close. Yeah. Because then once the government has it, they, they don't let go. Right. And you'll get to that point where then all of a sudden your plane is regulated by a bureaucrat. And we have to actually wait until they die off because there's no term limits for some reason. Well, no, the, the, yeah. the, the, the government grip and uh, the gov government services don't stop ever, no matter how awful they are. That's true. It doesn't yeah, change with, right. the, with the uh, elected official. It sticks around Unless forever. they all s change it. Do you think they're going to nah. change it? No. I don't either. Because they have the yeah, power. Yeah, they never will. Absolutely not. Here's what will happen. They'll create, you know the federal transportation you know arm or whatever and then all those people will be in a union who have a ton of voting power and will say like you must fund us and the politician will be like you got it yeah we'll guarantee it 
and then they vote all the people will vote for it to guarantee their you know their jobs they don't want to they don't want to give it up so i mean it's a sad reality of capitalism that sometimes things become obsolete and sometimes companies fail mm-hmm. yeah if we get rid of a scary that. time that's well, actually what ron paul's uh the thing i i was reading about um was basically about that he's like look it's it is a scary virus but we're giving up our our liberties and the the problem mm-hmm. is it's gonna be hard to get them back because the government you know we're not gonna get them back you give it up, they're gone. Because mm-hmm. how do you convince when a government takes it, Yeah, they have no reason to ever give it up at all? Right. So what do you do? Like when it comes to the private sector, you can negotiate. Yeah. And if they can't... So the thing about private business is that they have to convince you to keep supporting them. Yeah. The thing about government is they just come to your house and threaten to lock you in a you know, concrete cell. Hmm. Bend the knee or else. Sounds like the CCP a little bit. Hmm. Well... It's, it's all just different forms of authority, yeah. right? So that's the challenge with giving the government too much power. So, so here's, here's, here's the funny thing about all these socialists that are cheering for this stuff right now is, look, man, monopolization of corporate power is, is a dangerous thing. Yeah. But it takes a really long time. When you have a CCP, like, you know, the Communist Party of China, mm-hmm. you snap your fingers in communism and create an instant monopoly with all that power. They'll never give it up. We, we, we don't like the monopolies we have now. Why would I take all of that power from the corporations plus the government and mash it into one 100 times bigger monopoly. That makes no sense. True. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, man. What an exhausting apocalypse. Yeah, I don't like <laughs> it. It is. I feel like I, this morning when I woke up, I was looking at a couple of stories. I actually, I was going to record something on like, we're, we, we now have three states that are under a national disaster. Uh, the National Guard is being deployed. The army is being deployed. And I started reading these stories and I was like, it really feels like they copied and pasted from a story from last week and just dropped it in because the news is such the same thing every single day now. Yeah. It's like the market fell again on Monday and it fell by the, I'm like, did you just copy and paste and then like yeah. Change replace the numbers? The numbers? Yeah. Like, Cause these stories are the exact same. Well, now we got the whole like Democrats ruining we the do have stimulus something new package and terrible. thing. Yeah. So this is, here, well, here's what's interesting that about that. whole thing is ridiculous. But here, here, here's what I find truly interesting about it, is that you're not an overly political guy. Not in the And that's all you know about it. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Dude. Well, but it's funny to watch the the New York Times change from, you know, Democrats ruin it, Democrats postpone protect workers, it, and then their bipartisanship is to blame, and then now it's now it's on hold and it's Mitch McConnell's fault. Like that was the new line. I was like, how did this? So, wait, what? <laughs> they first said, you know, the, the Democrats did it, and they said the Democrats did it to protect workers. Then they said, oh, it's partisanship. No, but but, but the tr- what's truly interesting about it is not so much what's happening. But that that's this, the article from The Hill that said Democrats blocked the aid package. Right. Had five. It has like 500,000 shares, not what? views, shares. Yeah. yeah. Wow. If yeah. each share, you know, if each person is sharing it to a couple hundred people mm-hmm. and at any one time, you know, 15 to 20 will actually see it. We're looking at millions upon millions of views on the article saying the Democrats did this. Yeah, that's true. And so I was reading another article and it said, you know, uh, Mitch McConnell was was accusing Democrats of, term, of making this a liberal wish list. They accused him of a slush fund. Guess which one doesn't work to the American public? Hmm. The Democrats. I don't know what a slush fund is. I don't, I don't know what the point they were trying to make was. Yeah. All I know is that the De- Republicans skipped their vacation and said, we're going to get this bill done. Put and, and then Nancy Pelosi came in back from vacation and said, mm, block it. And then doubled the length of it. They said, whoa, whoa, whoa. You had all this stuff in there. It's really too much and then it's twice as long <laughs> with like all sorts of new stuff in it that has nothing to do with the coronavirus yeah it's their wish list yeah. so 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 yeah. so here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing, oh, the thing. Tim, it's complicated tim oh. i've been waiting for you to tell me the thing <laughs> the thing tell the me thing the thing is what's the thing, thing? timothy what you i'm and, the thing and yes oh what? and all the regular oh. people i am the thing everyone because i've had I've you're had, welcome i've had friends say what it, i don't understand why the democrats blocked us i need money yeah and i'm like there you go. They don't know who Mitch McConnell is. Right. They don't care. They heard the word Democrat. Mm-hmm. They heard there was 1200 bucks headed their way. And they heard the Democrats said no. I don't, then nobody cares what the reason is. So, so they're now trying to say, but we want to give you a thousand bucks per month. That's the claim. Nobody cares. Yeah, but it's like, not, dude, it's not a UBI. It's, this is supposed to be a stimulus no, 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 to look. help us stand our feet right now. And then, and then in a month we can do another vote. Yeah. we we'll go, there we go. Yeah. So I'll put it this way. If a dude walked up to you and was like, bro, you want 1200 bucks? 
And you were, you'd be like, yeah. Like, All right. I, I, I and then ask he, what I have to do for it. I'm just yeah, going to give you this 1200 bucks, bro. What am I, what am I going to have to do what for do it? He was a rich do? guy in a suit, and he said, I'm trying to help everyone out by giving out $1,200 to you. And he reaches out that money, and then along comes Nancy Pelosi, and she smacks his hand, and the money goes flying. Oh, man. You, who would you be mad at? Nancy Pelosi. And she'd be like, you don't understand. He was only going to give you that one time. I was going to give you more. You'd be like, what? <laughs> the dude was handing me money. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. You can give me more later, right? Yeah, people are stressing about it. Yeah. Because they yep. need money right now. This is what people dude, are worried about. I saw a journalist from the Huffington Post po post on all caps, people have no money. Right. When it was when it came out the Democrats were blocking the, the vote on it again. Yeah, it's like and we we've talked about this. Like no one like the average person in America can't afford a four hundred dollar swing in emergency. Yep. And now it's like they don't even have a job. They they can't work. So they don't have any money. So that like that extra four hundred bucks is it's long spent, and there's nothing coming in. Yeah, they need money right now. Oh, I can I can tell you that I I know a little bit about it, like what they're proposing, mm -hmm. and you know they want to they want to have it based off of your 2018 tax return. Okay. What? Why? Right. It's it's there's there's problems with it. But I, my, my response is like, look, man, I have friends who make minimum wage as servers who barely get by. Yeah. Who are hitting me up saying I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, because they work on tips. Right. And it's like cash tips. is Well, no, no, no. That's, that's not the issue. The issue is that even with tips, they're getting like 10 bucks an hour. Right. Which so is so so they barely they barely pay their rent. Yeah. And then while we're you know, while it's all going on, they're saying like my company might lay me off. And I was like, well, the good news is Trump's about to cut you a check for 200 bucks. Yeah. And they're like, awesome. And then today they were like, what happened? What? And I'm like, ask, ask the Democrats, man. I don't. They said they didn't like it. And, and it's look, it's, it's fair if you want to criticize what was in the bill and they got problems with it. All right, well, we'll talk about it, but nobody cares. Yeah. My friends who make no money and are like, I'm trying to figure out how to get by, pay my rent, buy food. And I just heard that we're not getting that check now. And I'm like, well, the Republicans skipped their vacation for well, you. Well, what if the Democrats were saying, you know what, look, we're going to have a provision in this bill that nobody who butt chugs gets a piece of this. <laughs> nobody who licks toilets is getting yes, a piece of this. Amen. I'd be like, you know what? Let's, that sounds good. All right. Let's do well, it. maybe. So maybe. <laughs> one of the issues apparently is that is that if you don't have any income at all, you get nothing. Oh. But it depends on. So I was reading some activist website. And that's what they claimed. Okay. But according to Axios, the minimum is six hundred bucks. So everyone so has I don't, to get six hundred bucks. So I don't know if I believe the activists because yeah. they just screech all the time. <laughs> okay. But Axios said that if you don't have the appropriate qualifying income, then you'll get six hundred dollars. Hmm. If you have at least twenty five hundred, you get twelve hundred dollars, and then after seventy five thousand a year, it starts going down a little bit, and then at ninety thousand, if if you have a salary of ninety nine thousand or more, you get nothing. But this is based on 2018. So there are problems with it, man. But all I know is, like, I was, I was talking to a friend of mine who said, like, I got to figure out my tax return information so okay. I can file for this or whatever. And I was like, no, 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 don't worry about it. And, and she was like, what do you mean don't worry? I'm don't worry about it. The Democrats killed the bill. Yeah. <laughs> you don't got you to file anything anymore. Yeah. So you're not going to have any money. Congratulations. You know, somebody sent me a message saying that a bunch of people are commenting on, you know, Facebook about how it was the Republicans who blocked the bill by trying to give corporations all this money. And it's like, what do you what do you think a bailout is? Like, what do you think they were voting on? Yeah. You think they were voting on not giving corporations money to sustain their employees? I don't understand. Yeah. That's messaging, man. The Democrats have come out and called it a corporate slush fund. A bunch of people started tweeting to get, you know, getting it trending. And I'm like, you realize corporations spend money, right? And you know they like, they em em employ people. I mean, there's there's real concerns of stock buybacks and other you know other BS. Sure, but these companies are going to go under, and these yep. are the companies that Boeing people. just shut down. Yeah. Seventy thousand people are risking dude. losing their. Now it's like, dude, Great Depression, here we come. <laughs> you know what I think? Hmm. I think the Democrats are like at this point, they're like the the dude in um, what was that movie where the guy he he or or I don't know if it was a guy, but he rides the the nuclear bomb. You know, like a cowboy? Oh, wasn't that um, Captain? Oh, no, Doctor, Doctor Strange. No. Doctor Strange Love. Doctor Strange Love. There we Love. go. I was halfway there. <laughs> I've never, never seen it. Captain. Doctor it kind of. I, I kind of feel like it's that. It's like the Democrats have realized it's all over. They've lost Biden. Oh man. Oh yeah. He's just muttering and mumbling. Nowhere to be found. And they're just like they just jumped on the bomb and started going, "You like burn it down, baby. We're going down. We're taking y'all with us." <laughs> oh man. Like, like they can't that. win. Yeah. So they're just like, screw it. Yeah. Pow, light it up. Little, little suicide mission. It does kind of feel like that, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. All I know is I, I want to go out. I want to go to the movies. Me too. I want to go to the mall. I want a margarita. And we can't do it. And so I'll tell you what's making me angry. It makes me angry 
when morons lick toilets and go party at the beach. Apparently, like in Florida, they took a bunch of boats and they jammed them all up together. And then a bunch of people were like chilling on the boats, partying. And so now they're shutting down the marina. It's like, you see, right now we can walk our dogs. But if a bunch of morons go around licking dog butt, then we're not going to be able to walk our dogs anymore. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so you, you, you have, the government said the marina's open. They're yeah. like, y'all do your thing, just don't, you know, social distance. Yeah. So it was, they have a stay-at-home stay at home order, but you can go on your boat. Right. You can go on your boat and go, woo, I'm on my, I'm on my boat. And then a bunch of morons I'm were like, let's boat. put all our boats together to have a party. And the government mm-hmm. was like, nah, shut it down. And California shut down the beaches and the parks. Good. Because no. they keep going on right, the beach. But people were able to go hiking yeah. by yourself. Right. You could be like, I'm going to walk through the woods. I got a little stick. And then a bunch of morons shut up the party and they're like, shut it down. Now, now I can't go walk through the woods by myself. It should just be like a no partying rule because it's clearly like a certain group of people that go out and party. But that in was these places. the rule. And so when the cops show up and there's 10,000 people down the beach, what do it, they do? They can't arrest them all. my brain hurt. You know, they, you, you here's the way, wait, wait, wait. people out there. Here's the best part. <sighs> you, know, you know what happened in Hawaii? Oh, gosh, what? They shut the beaches down. You know what the people did? What? They just went on the beach anyway. They went on the beach like, anyway. Like, dude, there's nothing you can do, man. People are refusing to, to adhere to any of this stuff. So well, now I'm just like, dude, at a certain point. Yep. There's going to be people who say, I've been quarantining for how long? And these people are out partying and chugging off butts. A little resentment. I'm out. I'm not doing this anymore. And they're going to go out. Right. And then at a certain point, the only reason this lockdown happens is because people agreed to it. That's true. If at any point people said, nah, no one had confidence in the system, there would be no lockdown. Nobody would care. You can't do anything about it. And there's too many people. It's like, what are you going to do? Arrest everybody for just trying to go about their day? Dude, with several hundred butt chuggers out in the beach, plus thousands of people partying. Mm-hmm. How many people do you think are sitting at home right now feeling, for one, FOMO? Like, like, oh, dude, I missed the butt chug party, man. Oh, dude, why did I stay? Oh, I want to go out. Well, I think that specific number is quite low. But, <laughs> a couple uh, hundred people butt who wish that they could butt chug? Yeah. Yeah, thank God that number is pretty someone, low. Someone's lot, out there, someone out so. there is like, I'd butt chug at home. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. <laughs> they have their roommate come uh, over. Yo, oh, no. Dave, come over here. Let's butt chug. <laughs> Let's butt chug. Come on. That's you know you do. want to. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. We do the show live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. If you want to catch the full show, tune into this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, or check us out on iTunes and Spotify, and we will soon have this podcast up for free on all podcast platforms. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all in the next episode.